um, address the question about modeling because I want people to really understand this. Right now, uh, we are developing our own model here in Rhode Island. The folks in the Department of Health, some fantastic uh, data scientists from Brown University, in consultation with the CDC, and we're working on that. We're also having a team at Johns Hopkins validate our model, and we're in touch with the federal government and University of Washington. And we're, there's nothing perfect about it. It's all based upon so many assumptions. It, no one, if anyone tells you they know exactly when Rhode Island's peak is and what the number of hospitalizations will be at that peak, they're not being honest with you. The reason is because it all depends, the single biggest variable in the model, the single biggest assumption is the level of effectiveness of our social distancing. So if over the next two or three weeks, people stay at home, don't go to work unless absolutely necessary, 100% obey the quarantine if you're ordered into quarantine, do not leave your house if you're sick, etc., then our peak will be pushed out and, and will not be nearly as high. If, however, on a beautiful day, people crowd around the parks, crowd at the beaches, crowd in lines to get your takeout food, the peak will be sooner and worse. Mortality will be worse. That's just the brutal reality of this. So I think our peak is, could be anywhere between you know, mid to late April and mid-May. But that changes every day. And I just am trying to be as transparent as possible with people. It's, it's all deeply dependent on how much each and every one of us does what we're told right now.